Who are we as we gather across Canada to celebrate today's TV Mass? You can see us here in St. Basil's Church in Toronto. We can't see you, but we know you are taking part in this celebration. We are celebrating Mass for you and with you. You can't go to Mass right now, so we bring the Mass to you. Without you, we would not be here. And who are we, all of us? We are disciples of Jesus. Disciples who at times feel great. All's going well. We have received many blessings and favors. So we come together to say thank you to God. Even if Thanksgiving is officially a week away. Disciples. We are disciples whose names are written in heaven. Think about that. Have you ever gone to a, a formal reception, maybe a wedding reception, where you check the guest list and find they've printed out your name and your table number? That's like going to heaven. One day you'll find your name tag ready and waiting for you up there. We were expecting you. We are disciples who may not be VIPs on earth. We're known to a relatively small circle of co-workers, friends, extended family, other parishioners maybe, but we're, we're not in the public eye. Ordinary, everyday people who grew up here, moved there, settled down, raised a family, became grandparents, helped out here and there, maybe housebound now, but with a rich store of memories, loved ones, people and places. Life has taught us. Relationships have enriched us. And our religion has meant a great deal to us. We're like the 70 disciples for whom Jesus gave thanks to God in today's Gospel because God had revealed to them a real understanding of who he was and who his Father was. They had come to know Jesus and what he stood for. They learned he had a sometimes upside-down view of people and events, of what counted and what didn't really matter. These original disciples weren't scholars, they weren't rabbis, they had no letters or degrees after their name, Jesus hadn't gone to the rabbinical schools to look for them. He found them at work or in their homes. Some were introduced to him by somebody else. He went to dinner or stayed in their homes and he brought them along with him to other people's homes. All very simple. They saw him in action they got talking with him, they heard what he had to say, they noticed how he related to people, they got a sense of his priorities and values. They listened to his stories and learned from them. As one writer put it, they picked up his moves. And then they kept his name alive after he died. And we 
are their successors. How well have we picked up his moves? How well do we stand in for Jesus and, if necessary, stand up for him? How well do you and I rise to the occasion? Or, in the words of today's first reading, how well do we perpetuate his name? For those through whom we first heard the story of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who have enabled us to be who we are today, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For loved ones who are no longer with us on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord for typhoon, earthquake, and tsunami victims in the Philippines, Indonesia, and the Samoas, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For all who have requested our prayers and for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that what we offer today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Father, the birth of Christ your Son deepened the Virgin Mother's love for you and increased her holiness. May the humanity of Christ give us courage in our weakness, may it free us from our sins and make our offering acceptable through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well, always and everywhere, to give you thanks as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, she became the Virgin Mother of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is forever the light of the world. Through him the choirs of angels and all the powers of heaven praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn. 